Hello, I am going to quickly show you how to convert a color image to a grayscale image in Adobe Photoshop. I picked this image as an example, not only for Elizabeth and Teddy, but because the information on our plotter printer is right here. So our plotter printer can print up to 36 inches wide, um, and it, we offer black and white pricing, which is a dollar per square foot of your image size. Um, so you want to make sure that you are converting your file before submitting it to the imaging center. If there's any color on your um, image at all, or if we open up your file and see that the color mode is in either CMYK or RGB, you will be charged these uh, prices here, which is $1.50 per square foot if you're choosing the thin paper, or $3 per square foot if you're choosing the 45 pound bond or the satin photo paper. So there are a lot of different ways to convert your color. I always um, create a duplicate file so that I'm not saving over anything um, that I can't go back on. So one way to properly save your file as a grayscale image is to go to the edit tab or the edit menu and you're going to come down here and select convert to profile. It's going to open up and you'll be able to convert you know, to any of these profiles. I always have the preview selected so that I can see what it's going to look like. Um, I was working in sRGB because this is just a picture that I took off my phone. Um, but if you were trying to convert it to Adobe 1998, you can see like how the orange changes. Um, a discussion for another video, I am just showing you how to convert to grayscale, which you would just select working gray, dot green, 20%. And as you can see, it's going to um, convert your file to grayscale. We can see here that the mode is set to grayscale and it should be all set for print. Um, if you have any questions, please schedule a, a virtual consultation with one of our IC staff using our Calendly or send us an email at ic at studies.edu. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.